Breaky Breaky, JD Mai and Jeezy's divorce is now final. Now let's get to it. address that in this space where we're being really open and honest. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be the details of anything. Right. If you've done all of this work and you've given yourself that grace and you've given yourself that space to grow, what happens when a man gets to the point where they're just like, okay, I'm filing for divorce? Integrity, intact. I, I could never say anything that would just, not honor somebody. Like absolutely. That. But I can tell you that this has not been a easy journey. Right. Um, I can tell you that I'm saddened. I can mm -hmm. tell you that I'm disappointed. I can tell you that um, things are different from the last time you were here. Some unexpected news broke about your, your marriage? I was going through uh, things and marriage ended in divorce and it was kind of hard. So yeah, it's, it's yeah. what I'm dealing with day by day, you know? And how are you doing now? Um, well, I'm doing, I think I'm doing better now. You know, I think um, at the time when I found out, you know, at the same time as the rest of the world that yeah. my marriage was ending in divorce, I was gutted. Okay, everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome again to my channel, The Mix. Like this video, share this video. As you can see, what this video is going to be about. So let me pause it right here. Pause it right here. The divorce is finalized. Boom. The divorce is finalized between Jeezy and Jeannie Mai. And um, I'm going to go ahead and get into some things, you guys, about the ex. Yes. The ex, meaning not Jeannie Mai's ex, but Jeezy's ex. Yes. She showed up and I guess showed out, quote unquote. So, um, but yeah, so their divorce was finalized by a judge. When a judge signs off on a divorce, it is final. Um, also, it has been sealed to my understanding from the public and the public won't see the details to my understanding of the child custody or the financial settlement agreement, even if it was that, even if it, even if they did reach an amicable um, agreement based off reports, the public won't anything, you know, in writing regarding the finalization of their divorce but yeah let me hone in on the ex yes jesus ex baby mama girlfriend or quote-unquote ex-fiance well hey before the divorce was finalized it is to my understanding she came to his rescue i still say you guys jeezy is a complete in my opinion narcissist so let me go ahead and jump into this article some excerpts of this article two articles actually and then i'll come back with more of my commentary reaction and opinion drop some comments in the chat you guys let's engage let's blow this comment section up let me know your thoughts keep it respectful and peaceful let me get on over to this article okay everyone we're gonna jump right into this topic uh page six.com is what i'm citing and this is this article speaks to Jeezy's ex. I'm gonna call her his ex because having difficulties pronouncing her name. <laughs> so, but anyway, Jeezy's ex defends devoted and peaceful rapper from Jeannie Mai's AB allegations in divorce battle. Woo! The ex done came to the rescue, y'all. I wonder how much he allegedly <laughs> gave on the back end. <laughs> Excuse me, a few um, years ago, what, three to four years ago, it was a she was singing a different tune. <laughs> wow, I still say, you guys, I think there's some overlapping, in my opinion. And I still believe, in my opinion, that Jeezy is a gaslighter, a narcissist, an opportunist, all of that, you guys. So, okay, let me jump right into this article. The ex who shares daughter Emra Nor Jenkins, 10, the put on rapper, filed a sworn affidavit Friday morning testifying to Jeezy's peaceful demeanor. Okay. I've witnessed, and this is the ex speaking, I've witnessed Jay be a devoted, caring, and present father to our daughter and his oldest child, Jadarius Jenkins, who is 28. She writes in a court documents obtained by page six this is her again i think she's um not america i don't think she's fba as they call it uh okay so the article further cites for almost four years jay's eldest child lived with us and i was able to see their relationship grow every day at no point was jay ever physically mentally or emotionally a b to his children or i wait a minute there i'm gonna have to do a flashback i'm Jeezy, arrested for threatening to kill his own son Jeezy was arrested in ATL for battery, false imprisonment, and making terroristic threats against his own son. According to reports, Jeezy got into a fight with his son in the bathroom. Jeezy punched him in the allegedly, face and dragged him to the bedroom allegedly. and pummeled him. Documents go on to say that Jeezy choked his son and said, I will Jeezy turned himself into authorities on Friday. You see it right here? 
Okay, y'all, y'all see that. <laughs> Let me continue. At X37 further described her ex um fiance or baby daddy, ex excuse me, ex fiance or boyfriend, whom she dated for a decade as one of the most peaceful people she ever met. However, in 2020, she sued the musician, claiming he failed to pay her the court order 10k per month in child support for their daughter, her medical expenses not covered by insurance or her private school tuition. Ching ching, see? So he may not have been physically ab to her but it looks like and like i was saying some years ago he was financially ab to her <laughs> financially because uh, you can have financial ab mental ab and physical ab okay and so the article further cites jeezy whose real name is jay jenkins also had his and Jeannie Mai's nanny submit an affidavit in which she described the former as being an extremely loving dad to his and their daughter as well as his younger daughter would um genie my monaco whom he shares the real coast host article further cites as a caretaker and this is the nanny speaking you guys in the affidavit via affidavit as a caretaker i believe mr jenkins gives his daughters the support they need as they grow into young women in the future mean he kofler writes in the legal document which was obtained by page six <laughs> I wonder how much did he allegedly <laughs> give the nanny on the back end. <laughs> okay, the article for the sites, the nanny stated this. Mr. Jenkins is a hardworking person, but even a more hardworking dad. All right, now, put the sauce on it, nanny. Put the sauce on it. <laughs> okay, a rep for Jeannie Mice tells page six in a statement. So this is Jeannie Mice, people speaking. It seems Mr. Jenkins is trying to distort the truth once more by employing people to file false statements and claims against Miss Mai, attempting to contradict real-time evidence and factual events we are eager to present all the evidence in court mind you guys this was some days ago before they settled the um divorce so yeah jeezy brought up his receipts you know character witnesses basically um having his back okay this is a photo of Jeannie Mai. warning 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 you guys so these were allegations cited against jeezy by Jeannie Mai ab allegations so that was a photo of that okay an article further cites Jeannie Mai 45 claimed in an april court filing that jenkins 46 um chok e her from behind as she was coming up the stairs and pushed her down the steps while they were in at the risk carlson hotel in san francisco on april 14th in 2022 Whew. The TV personality further alleged that security intervening offered her protection after he repeatedly stated she after he repeatedly stated she felt unsafe. Jenkins vehemently denied the accusations, describing them as malicious. The article further cites the allegations are not only false, but also deeply disturbing, especially coming from someone I love. The rapper told Page Six in a statement at the time, this malicious attempt to tarnish my character and disrupt my family is ridiculous. It's disheartening to witness the manipulation and deceit at play and at this time my main concern is being an active father to our daughter as i continue to fight for custody court mandated joint custody the losing my mind rapper filed for divorce from genie my you know last year september 2023 and they were only married to each other for two years wow okay everyone according to tmz.com jeezy and genie my divorce finalized case put under seal jeezy and genie my's divorce is in the books because they've come to a settlement and they are going out of their way to keep the details under wraps well, let me interject really quickly you mean out his way to keep it under wraps because he was pushing for it. remember genie Mai was not okay according to tmz uh new court docs obtained by tmz the two exes who've been squabbling a lot lately over child custody claims of ab and other ugly tidbits have settled their divorce and not just that they've vowed to wrap up the whole thing under seal so the details won't be public of course there was a ton of back and forth over the past few months Let's talk about past few months ever since the divorce was filed back in september several months <laughs> um with jeezy alleging genie was keeping their daughter from him and making his parenting time with their kid incredibly difficult and genie my fired back um suggesting jeezy keep g-u-n-s the power fly arms around in a way that wasn't safe with a child around and also made big dv claims against jeezy you recall she alleged a b against jeezy claiming he'd gotten physical with her in the past jeezy denied all her claims and vowed to fight for the truth in court while it seemed like this thing was going to drag out for a while in the public eye jeezy and genie have now settled the case and got an order allowing them to place all the docs under seal for the site 
clients. Therefore, the details of their settlement will remain hidden from public view, including any terms about custody, child support, property splits, and or spousal support. It's been a long saga, but it's all over now, and they are officially unattached in the eyes of the law. Okay, everyone, divorce finalized. So what are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on Jeezy's ex coming to um, his rescue? <laughs> surprisingly like i said it was just it, there was some issues some years ago when i believe in my opinion like i said that there was some overlapping allegedly and genie my allegedly so I'm just shocked i'm really really shocked that she came to bat for him maybe that hefty check alleged check was, back in. <laughs> was worth it you know i'm being a bit facetious here i don't know that to be true you guys so but drop some comments in the chat let me know your thoughts um it's it seems like jeezy got what he wanted because that was his request to have the divorce sealed Jeannie Mai was not requesting that. I will drop the link in the description section, a few links in the description section of this post um, regarding the different, you know, content I did on the, these two. And um, wow, they've been going at each other's throats for the past several months. It's good to see that it's, I guess, finally out of the public eye. <laughs> finally out of the public eye, so to speak. But uh, yeah, I'm just so shocked he got his ex to speak highly of him that affidavit i'm like wow and the nanny as well so quite interesting quite interesting so i wonder what was the outcome i, I guess that's all we can do is wonder i rumor has it that genie Mai ain't through with a reasonable and uh, favorable settlement maybe she will write a book herself one day maybe she will speak about it you know i don't know i wonder if she could speak about it because although they reached a settlement and it's away from the public eye but i wonder can she do any press about it so we shall see we shall see you guys but i had to update you guys they are finally divorced and no more G my jenkins no more of that they are officially done 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 i still say Jeezy is an opportunist, so off to the next, on to the next. <laughs> opportunist, borderline. Um, I could just sense it energy wise. That's the vibe I'm getting from him. Like I said before, I was giving him the benefit of the doubt, especially when he first did the interview with Neil Long. I'm like, okay, before that, I was honestly, you guys, Team Jeezy. And that's until things start coming out, and then I'm like, okay, he's about to speak about the divorce because usually men don't divorce women. So I'm like, okay, he, he and Neil Long, okay, let me hear. When he only said that, please, Ninja, keep it. <laughs> You could have kept that interview. Seemed like he was flirting with me alone. Seemed like he was just just like a gaslighter and was just talking all this talk, talking to be talking, once saying ish. You know how they say when people talk, you just talking and be talking. Once saying ish, you know, basically peddling, book peddling, you know, promoting his book. So but anyway, that's my own opinion of the matter and thoughts of him from based off of what I've read and things of that nature. And even when it came to his son, when he allegedly a b his oldest child <laughs> so uh, but yeah like this video you guys share this video thank you guys for tuning in and i will talk to you all soon bye